This video shows how to attach your sails to the boom kits. So full rigging instructions come with the boat. These instructions can be used for the other three rigs, but some of the Dyneema and position dimensions will be different. Fit the wire mainsail luff rings to all six eyelets down the mainsail luff. stub has a collar in the middle and one side is beveled. Insert the side with the beveled edge into the top of the bearing housing on the main boom assembly. Then insert the bottom of the mast stub into the mast step on the boat and then make sure the boom swings freely. Slide the tip of the mast up through the six luff rings. You may have to open the luff rings to do this. Clamp the sail to the masthead crane. Slide the bottom of the mast onto the mast stub. If the clue hook doesn't reach the sail, you will need to adjust the angle of the main boom by turning the knurled wheel on the kicker. First release the front knurled nut. Then turn the aft nut so that the boom end starts to rise up towards the clue of the sail. Place the clue hook into the eyelet on the mainsail. Close up the clue hook with a pair of pliers. This will prevent accidental release when sailing. Slide the clue hook and the boom bands so that the centre of the foot of the sail does not push more than about 25mm away from the boom. This measurement can be adjusted later. Adjust the height of the sail so that the top edge is aligned with the top of the chrome band. Tie the sail to the masthead crane. Try to do this with a single strand of Dyneema. Too many strands of Dyneema here will restrict the mobility of the head of the sail. You can tidy up the Dyneema by putting a spot of super glue where you want to make a cut. Place a flat piece of wood underneath and make a cut using a sharp blade and this will prevent the ends from fraying. Cut a 300mm length of Dyneema and tie one end to the eye in the top of the bearing housing. Take the Dyneema through the hole in the tack of the mainsail and then back through the eye in the bearing housing. Lead it back along the boom and into the first hole of a bowsy block.
Take the Dyneema out the other side and then straight back down the next hole. Then run it along the boom to the eye in the compression strut and then lead it back to the last hole of the bowsy. Pull the Dyneema until all the slack is removed and the bowsy block is about three quarters distance from the first eye in the uh, bearing housing to the eye in the compression strut. With a marker pen, put a mark on the Dyneema where it exits the bowsy block and this is where you need to tie a stopper knot. Place the return loop of the knot behind the mark and then hold the mark with some tweezers. Then pull the running end to tighten the knot and the tweezers will prevent the knot from moving beyond your mark. Again, tidy the loose ends of Dyneema using superglue and a sharp blade. the bowsy block towards the mast until the knot reaches the bowsy. This now forms the Cunningham and is ready to use. Now it's time to make the backstay tensioner. Cut a length of Dyneema that will span the full height of the mainsail. Tie one end to the last hole at the aft end of the mast crane. Tie a metal ring on the other end of the Dyneema, so when at rest, the ring is level with the top of the reinforcement patch on the mainsail. This is not a crucial measurement, so it's okay to be slightly above or below this level. So next is the lower section of the backstay tensioner. Cut a length of Dyneema that is twice the distance from the back of the boat to the metal ring. Picture 12 here shows what we are trying to achieve. Tie a loop in one end of the Dyneema, and this will be the anchor end, and it will be hooked over the stainless steel hook at the very back of the boat. Run the Dyneema through the first two holes of a bowsy block. Now take the Dyneema up and through the metal ring and then back down to the bowsy and up through the last hole. Tie a stopper knot at the bowsy when the slack has been taken out and the bowsy is about halfway along the bottom section as shown in the picture. Remember to tidy the cut with a dab of superglue and a sharp blade. And finally, we need to install the main sheet. So with the boat switched on, bring the sheet lead back to its most aft position. This is called sheeted in. Now set the two bridle bowsies so they are halfway between the deck hooks and the bridle ring, and that the bridle ring is on the center line of the boat when under tension, like shown here. Cut a length of Dyneema for the rig size you are building. These are the dimensions. This loop will go in the winch clip. Run the other end through the main sheet bridle. And up through the small hole in the sheet lead. Now pass the end over the boom band and through the silicon o-ring. Then 
Adabowsie before passing the end through the forward or middle hole at the bottom of the main boom tube joiner. Now run the end back to the bowsie and finish with the stopper knot where the bowsie is about a quarter way from the tube joiner to the bridle ring and that the main boom is just off centre line of the boat. This will form your sheeted in position and this is used when you are close hauling. Cut off the excess dynema. The positions of the boom band and o-ring can be adjusted later. This now concludes the main sheet rigging. So I hope that's been useful for somebody. Thanks for watching. And apparently now you should be clicking an up thumb button or something. I don't know. Anyway, see you next time.